on the dividend news, we'll go ahead and start it off with some interesting ones, which is Meta Platforms. They finally announced their first ever dividend. They're going to be paying 50 cents per share. Uh, their dividend yield will be 0.5%. The other interesting thing about this is that Meta's dividend looks small, but it equals a $5 billion annual payment. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg will be taking about $700 million of this every year. And the other one was United Parcel Services hiked uh, their dividend by 0.6%. Very, very low there. We also have T. Rowe Price Group, which hiked its dividend by 1.6%. And another one was Walmart did announce a 3 for 1 stock split effective after the market close on February 23rd. And the third to last one we have here, guys, is Baker Hughes hiked its dividend by 5% to 21 cents quarterly. And we also have Chevron, which hiked its dividend by 8% to $1.63 quarterly. And the last one we have here, guys, is Cigna Group hiked its dividend by 13.8%. What's up everybody, this is Antonio here to bring you episode 224 of the Portfolio Update. So you guys already know, it's Sunday, it's time to go over the portfolio, what we bought, what we sold, what dividends came in, and uh, actually how much we grew the dividend snowball as well. In this episode guys, I will be going over 7 companies that are expected to announce a dividend raise in the month of February. So definitely stick around to that because that'll be definitely exciting but you guys already know every single sunday we come back we look at the dividend uh you know well i guess these are scripts i do have uh they actually track how much i'm making or how much the portfolio is generating in passive income uh so right now our monthly projection from our portfolio it is expected to be making around 992 dollars and 26 cents guys by the end of the video this should be a lot higher because every single week we dollar cost average into the portfolio reinvest the dividends and uh yeah we see continue to see this grow so definitely stick around to the very end we'll see if we break the one thousand dollar mark per month we're getting very close guys i think we will eventually get this but uh, it's so nice imagine a thousand dollars every single month getting reinvested back into the portfolio growing that dividend snowball and uh you know converting my active income into passive income and that passive income converting into more passive income while you get a great tax benefit because it does become qualified dividends in our case for us for the dividends but stocks anything you own more than a year you would get uh, long-term capital gains on this so very very sweet uh, but anyways if you look here at the annual dividends we're actually i actually owe you guys a video this coming week for uh to show you how much we made for the month of january and dividends so look forward to that i uh, will be starting 2024 so i'm definitely excited to see how much we make for this year we'll see the staircase getting larger and larger Larger over time and if you look at the quarterly as well we'll be working on q1 of 2024 you can, can see this getting larger and larger over the coming years i can't wait to see what the portfolio is generating 5 10 15 20 years from now it'll be so awesome and then on the options premium guys we use uh, this money we have to try to generate a little bit more crumbs and hopefully allow us to use this money to reinvest back into the portfolio uh, right now I'm basically sticking to cash secure puts while all my uninvested cash is in a U.S. Treasury earning us a almost little to no risk and 5% uh, return. So uh, right now for the month of uh, February we're at $818 and we just started the month so that's great to see. And then if we look at the option return, that means that we're at 1.56% return on our, my money invested here. If I do show you guys, we do have goals and uh, we kind of keep uh, focused on these. These are 2024 goals. It's just so that we can stay focused and by the end of the year, we'll be a lot better off uh, and stay disciplined there. But the first one is more related to my channel. So if you're new to the channel and um, or you're a return viewer that hasn't subscribed consider subscribing with that notification help me reach 20,000 subscriber mark definitely would appreciate it as well if you guys wouldn't mind drop a big thumbs up on the video it goes a long way helps out the channel and uh goal number two guys is 
to reach uh, $425 per month, uh, you know, in dividends each quarter. Of course, we already achieved this, but uh, realistically, right now I have about $105,000 invested in the U.S. Treasury. So if interest uh, are cut, of course, that would go down. I typically want to invest that into equities so i would be investing these back into apple or microsoft companies like that that have a very very low dividend yield so it would drop my uh average per month in dividends a lot lower so that's kind of what it would turn out to be realistically once that 105k gets invested back into equities if we look at goal number three guys that's to reach 126 thousand dollars invested of my own money uh, so right now i am at 120 thousand and 26 dollars and 84 cents we have about six thousand dollars more to go we still have a couple months or i guess actually about 10 months 11 months or so uh, to achieve this we'll definitely achieve it i'm pretty positive in that because that's all goals that are within my control goal number four guys is to dollar cost average a hundred dollars into the portfolio no matter what the market's doing what the portfolio is doing staying disciplined growing uh, that portfolio dollar cost averaging and uh, i'm continuing to do that this is also definitely within my control as well as goal number five is to drip an additional $25 every time a company is about to go ex dividend date. I use this more as a discipline to try to invest more into the portfolio, not that I'm trying to make it as a great strategy. I know that the stock typically when they're going ex dividend date drops in that same amount of price that they pay out for the dividend. But uh, it's just a way for me to add a little bit more crumbs into the portfolio because in the long term, those little crumbs do add up and they compound. Goal number six is to average about $100 per month selling options. I'll show you guys the options where we're at right now. We're definitely surpassing that, but uh, that is what happened last year. I was, uh, you know, doing very, very good with covered calls and then I got uh, stuck with uh, in the money covered calls. So I'm definitely trying to stay away from covered calls or trying to stay to cash secured puts. But uh, trying to stay about $100 per month in uh, premiums that we collect. We're definitely surpassing that for now, but we'll see where we end up. Goal number seven is to uh, get SCHD to 1,000 shares. We have a goal. We need to execute, or I guess we have a plan. We need to execute on it, and uh, we'll eventually get to 1,000 shares in SCHD. Pretty positive. Hopefully, it's this year, and we'll see what happens. Uh, if we look here at uh, the options, guys, you'll see that in total... We've collected $1,873.75 so far for the year, and we are barely in the beginning of February. So options is a great strategy if you guys know it. If you stick to selling options, it's a great way to generate extra income, collect extra shares of companies you are willing to buy at a certain price, which is right now what I'm doing, and that is selling cash secured puts and then uh, if we do look here at the dividend payout if i scroll down here you'll see that uh, we have a couple companies that are going to actually go ex dividend date uh, which we have starbucks they'll be going ex dividend date on the 8th of february we have microsoft which will be going ex dividend date on the 14th on valentine's of uh you know february and so that means that I will be having to contribute $25 additional that week and uh, we'll definitely do that. Uh, hopefully the script starts working this week when we kick it off later. I have tutorials on all that stuff. But uh, anyways guys, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Alright guys, so as you guys can see the portfolio is at $231,108.33. On the day change that is $474.90 which is about 0.21%. On the two year change it's at $42,998.09. That's about a 22.86% in the green which is great to see. Over the long term it should continue to get larger and larger gains right here we're so far at twenty thousand four hundred thirteen dollars sixty cents which is about nine point seven six percent if we do look at the cash or valuable cash here is one thousand four hundred eighty five dollars and twenty two cents uh, market value on the portfolio is that two hundred 
uh, 29,000 uh, plus the cash here, which brings out to the 231. If we do look here, we do have a couple companies. Uh, actually, we only have the only company that we have over 100 shares is Altria right now, which honestly I wouldn't mind averaging down some more. And uh, we have a couple other companies here. We do have SCHD, 660 shares. Uh, we have a cash secure put on SCHD for a strike price of $76. It will expire on the 16th of February. Uh, and uh, we collected about, uh, what was it, $41 in premium. So if SCHD closes below $76 on the 16th of February, we'll get assigned 100 shares of SCHD, which would be awesome. Plus the $41 we got to keep. And then guys, we have about $105,000 invested in S and SXX, which is that Schwab US Treasury earning us about a 5% return, uh, you know, passively there and uh, very to low risk here while we sell cash cured puts. And uh, when we do get assigned these cash cure puts, we'll be pulling that money out of this here and uh, covering our basis for the shares that we get assigned from those cash cure puts. But uh, anyways, guys, here on the uh, performance, we are up on the gains for $29,156.88. Uh, return here is about 14.54% and then on the investment income we're projected to make about $8,899.75 in the next 12 months averaging about $741.65 per month in the next 12 months <laughs> that's a lot guys definitely excited about that and uh, March about $1,045.98 April $664.44 and then May $514.51 and of course this will get larger because we continue to dollar cost average into the portfolio every week if we do look here at guys at the history we do have it to filter out from uh, January 28th 2024 all the way till February 3rd uh, 2024 here and uh, if we scroll to the very bottom we can start here so these were some cash cure puts i placed uh last week microsoft and jp morgan they all expired worthless we got to keep the premium which was great on the 29th though we did do a sell to open i sold a microsoft cash secure put for a strike price of 402 dollars 50 that expired on the 2nd of february and uh, they actually paid me 660 dollars on this one uh, we sold one of them and uh, after fees i got to collect premium 659 dollars 33 cents very very easy money there guys uh, and of course they did have earnings so i was willing to get assigned shares of this powerful company and uh, if we look at the 29th that's why i did a sell to open i sold actually two uh apple cash secure puts at 182.50 strike price that also expired on the second they also had earnings on apple so we collected about 80 cents per share or i guess per contract adding up about 158 dollars and 67 cents in premium they both did expire worthless and uh, we just got to keep the premium there and uh, we're also earning that five percent return which is great on the 29th we did actually buy we bought about $25 worth of Costco. Costco was going into X dividend date there. So we had to keep uh, track and we'll stay focused on our goals and meet them. And uh, if we look here on the 20, uh, 29th, 30th, I deposited $125. $25 to buy the ex dividend date for Costco and $100 to dollar cost average into the portfolio. 30th, we got a credit interest on Schwab, 30 cents. And uh, if we look here on the 31st, JP Morgan, guys, they paid us a dividend of $151.21. This is, of course, going to go lower la next quarter because our shares from JP Morgan did get uh, sold out from the covered call we had, but that's okay because we're generating everything from cash cure puts now. And then we look on the 1st of February, uh, this uh, dividend that got paid got dripped and it bought about 0.87 shares. At one point, we were actually able to buy one full share of JP Morgan. JP Morgan has ran up in price, so we are not able to do that anymore. And then on the 2nd of February, guys, I ended up buying $200 worth of Lockheed Martin at a great, great price of $427. Buying a little, I guess, close to half a share of J uh, Lockheed Martin there 
can't complain for that let's go ahead and see how much we collected in passive income this week guys so uh, we'll go ahead and click calculate dividends and guys we collected $151.21. That was that JP Morgan dividend that paid out, which I can't complain because that's passive income. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into the seven companies that we are expected to uh, get dividend raises for the month of February. The first company on the list, guys, is 3M Company, currently trading about $94.87. I do have this on Seeking Alpha pulled up. Uh, and then if we look at uh, the sector, they are in the industrial sector. Dividend yield is a 6.26%. Annual payout is $6. Payout ratio is 64.94%. Uh, five year Kager is a 1.98%. Very, very low now. They are dividend kings over 65 years in dividend uh, growth. And then they do pay out quarterly, which you'd get paid $1.50 here. So if we do actually go here to the history, I can kind of show you quickly why we think, or you know, if they do plan to raise their dividend, why we think it's gonna be in February. So if we do look at uh, 2022, they were paying $1.49. On the first quarter of 2023, they raised it to $1.50. So they raised it by one penny. If we do look at 2021 as well, in the fourth quarter, $1.48. And in the first quarter of 2022, they raised it to $1.49. So if we do look to the right when they do announce these dividends, you can see that uh, the first quarter is announced on uh, February 7th, 2023 and then February 8th, 2022. So potentially the first week or, or the middle of the second week uh, is when they might announce a dividend raise from 3M if they do plan to raise it uh, this year. The second one we do have here, guys, is KO, the Coca-Cola company, currently trading about $60.54. Uh, they are in the consumer staple sector. Dividend yield is a 3.02%. Annual payout is $1.84 here. Payout ratio is $68.68%. Uh, 68 .68%. Five-year Kager is at 3.36%. Uh, and then dividend growth is over 61 years. They do pay out quarterly and they pay you out 46 cents every single quarter. If we do look at the history, and we look at, uh, for example, 2022, uh, or I guess 2021, the fourth quarter, they were paying 42 cents. And then on the first quarter of 2022, they raised it to 44 cents. And then if we look at the fourth quarter, they uh, were paying 44 cents. And then on the first quarter of 2023, 46 cents is what they raised it to. So if we look to the right, you'll see that the first quarter is uh, when they announced it is February 16th, 2023. And then uh, you'll see that uh, for 2022, February 17th, 2022. So probably towards the middle or I guess after Valentine's and when the, is when they'll announce a dividend raise from Coca-Cola. The third one is Cisco Companies, uh, currently trading about $50.18. They are in the information technology sector. Dividend yield is a 3.11%. Annual payout is $1.56. Payout ratio is 37.53%. Five-year Kager is at 3.40%. And then on the dividend growth, that's actually 12 years here. Quarterly is the frequency that they do pay out, which is 39 cents quarterly. And then if we do look at the dividend history, I can kind of show you guys uh, what this is here. So if we look at uh, 2022, fourth quarter, they're paying 38 cents. And well, I guess not, they typically raise it on the second quarter. So uh, if we look here, 2022 again, they're paying 37 cents on the second quarter. Uh, they raised it to 38 cents uh, for 2022. And then if we look at 2023, uh, first quarter 38 cents and then second quarter 39 cents so if we do look here we're already in the first quarter i guess for them if we look to the right on the second quarter uh, you'll see that uh, typically it gets announced in uh, february 15th 2023 february 16th 2022 so right towards the middle of february is when we should see a dividend raise from cisco if they do plan to do that Let's go ahead and move on to the fourth one, guys, which is the Home Depot, which is currently trading about 
$57.23 guys. They are in the consumer discretionary. Dividend yield is a 2.32%. Annual payout is $8.36. Payout ratio is 53.66%. Five year KGR is an amazing 15.20%. And then dividend growth is 14 years. They do pay out quarterly, which they'll pay you out $2.09. If we do look at the history here and uh, we scroll down, you'll see that uh, typically, uh, if we look at 2021, Q4, they were paying $1.65. And then on the first quarter of 2022, one point, uh, I guess $1.90 is when they, they, they raised it to. If we look at uh, Q4 of 2022, $1.90. And then the first quarter on 2023, uh, $2.09 is what they raised it. So if we look to the right, uh, typically the first quarter is when they raise it. They announced this on uh, February 21st, 2023, and then they announced it February 22nd, 2022. So that is pretty sweet. Uh, towards the end of February is when you should see a Home Depot dividend raise if they do plan to do that. Let's go ahead and move on to the fifth one, guys, which is Waste Management, uh, which they, I believe they already announced a dividend raise, which was, I believe, a 7% return, or I guess 7% increase back in december but uh, since it's barely going to be showing up on seeking alpha i went ahead and included it they are trading about 188 dollars and 21 cents uh, they are in the industrial sector and then on the dividend yield is a 1.49 percent annual payout is two dollars 80 cents payout ratio is 47.83 percent five-year kicker seems very very low here 3.37 and uh, they've been growing their dividend for years. I'm not sure that's actually correct. I think they've been growing their dividend much, uh, actually much longer here is what they've been growing it. And then dividend frequency is quarterly. Uh, they pay 70 cents here. I believe they raised it at uh, to 75 cents actually. And uh, if we do look here, guys, uh, they typically announce that raise. Uh, if we look. Uh, I guess fourth quarter of 2022, they paid 65 cents and in the first quarter, 70 cents. Uh, so if we look to the right, just so you guys can kind of see on Seeking Alpha, it typically shows up around the first, maybe the first week of February. So the 6th of February 2023 is when they announced that or when it showed up on Seeking Alpha. Let's go ahead and move on to the sixth one, which is Domino's Pizza, guys. So currently trading about $422.06. Uh, they are in the consumer discretionary. Dividend yield is a 1.12%. Annual payout is $4.84. Payout ratio is 32.35%. Five year CAGR, an amazing 17.08%, growing their uh, dividend over 10 years quarterly is what they pay out which is one dollar 21 cents and then if we do look at the history here we can kind of see uh what they're at uh, now so if we do look 2022 guys uh fourth quarter one dollar 10 cents what they're paying and then the first quarter of 2023 one dollar 21 cents so they raised it if we look to the right first quarter is announced around february 21st 2023 so towards the end of february is when we should see an announcement on uh, domino's pizza that they will be raising their dividend let's go ahead and move on to the last one guys which is best buy which uh, is currently trading about 75 dollars and 69 cents uh, they are in the consumer discretionary dividend yield is a 4.89 percent annual payout is three dollars 68 cents payout ratio is 58.05 percent five-year kager is a 15.38 percent very very good five-year kager there dividend growth 13 years quarterly is what they pay out which is about 92 cents every single quarter if we do look at the history here guys you guys can kind of see that uh, on the fourth quarter of 2022 they were paying 88 cents and then on the first quarter of 2023 they raised it to 92 cents uh, they typically announce on the first quarter which is when they raise it it's uh, around march 2nd 2023 is when they did that one but if we look at 2022 they also did march 3rd 2022 and then for 20 2021 they did that around february 25th 2021 and then you could look at the previous dates they fluctuate towards the end of february right at the beginning of march so i went ahead and just included it for the month of february we'll see when they do announce it but uh this is this these are the seven companies that are expected to announce dividend raises in the month of february let me know 
which companies you guys own definitely would love to know but uh, let's go ahead and wrap up this video by jumping over to the google sheets and see how much we grew the dividend snowball this week so i'll see you guys over there all right guys so we're here at the google sheets on the dashboard i already have a copy of this over here so we can kind of see the difference once we kick off the script but again on the options premium real quick you'll see that uh, for february we're at 818 dollars and we're just starting the month so i'm really happy with that rate of return on the, you know my options return against my money invested is 1.56 percent which as well is very very good i'm happy with those outcomes so far hopefully we can keep this up but uh, first week of february 818 dollars we have about three weeks that we would i guess four weeks that we would consider part of february for us so we'll see where we end up uh, january was a very very awesome month for us there if we do look at the dividend payouts you'll see we have three companies uh, last week we were having issues with the script so let me see if we can actually get it to work this time so you know portfolio tools get latest dividends uh, typically this will get wiped and it looks like uh, something did actually change in the code so i will try to make time this week to fix this for you guys because we do need this uh, to see any dividend increases that we do get but i have tutorials for all this stuff i guess obviously once i fix it uh, but if we do go over here guys to the settings uh, we can go ahead and get rid of this and uh, we can actually jump over to empower so we can grab the latest version of our portfolio that contains all the purchases from this past week so i'll see you guys over there all right guys over here empower on my schwab account click this copy holdings button it copies the content of my portfolio into the clipboard which then we can go right click pay special values only now this contains all my purchases from this past week if we go to holdings this is an old snapshot from last week and uh, once we go to portfolio tools update portfolio holdings this will get wiped it'll parse out the new stuff we just pasted and we'll see how much we grew the dividend snowball uh, again i have tutorials for all this stuff it's completely available for free all i ask in return guys is that you support the channel by dropping the thumbs up on the videos but uh, let's go ahead and click update portfolio holdings give it a second or two there it goes let's jump back over here to the dashboard see how much everything grew as you'll see here it looks like it's done projected dividend yield 5.16 percent compared to 5.20 percent uh, so it did go actually down because the portfolio did go up in value here some of the stocks did go up and then on the dividend yield on cost 5.70 percent nothing changed here uh, yearly we did go up slightly we're projected to make about eleven thousand nine hundred sixteen dollars ninety one cents uh, compared to eleven thousand nine hundred and seven dollars from last week so we did go up there on the monthly we're projected to make now every single month nine hundred ninety three dollars and eight cents uh, we went up almost a dollar here so very good to see on the weekly two hundred twenty nine dollars and seventeen cents uh, so we went up about what 19 cents here and then on the day 32 dollars 65 cents we went up about three pennies so every every day now we're making three more pennies or the portfolio is making that hourly we're still making one dollar 36 cents every single hour that goes by and guys hourly work wage this is if our portfolio was to go work a 40 hour work week they would get paid an hourly rate of five dollars 73 cents compared to five dollars and 72 cents last week they get a one penny raise i guess they were doing such a great job our goal or i guess a huge milestone we're trying to achieve is to try to get this to minimum wage we'll see how long that takes it'll be great to see but uh, anyways guys this is actually all i have for you guys in this update let me know in the comment section if uh, you guys own any of these seven companies that are expected to announce dividend raises and uh don't forget to subscribe with that notification definitely would appreciate it if you guys uh, help out the channel and uh, if you stuck all the way to the very end let me know by dropping a hashtag raises because that's some pretty good companies that are expected to raise their dividend and uh, that just keeps growing the dividend snowball if you guys do invest in great companies and uh, i will talk to you guys later take care stay safe out there bye guys